Before you ask why I'm making another tank track tutorial which looks the same as the old one, let me explain. As you probably know, springs have been updated and two new blocks have been added, and my first tank track tutorial is currently my most successful video on my channel, but it has some flaws. For example here I forgot to add a hinge and some people ended up with broken tracks. So here we go tank track tutorial part 2. Also, just so this doesn't end up being a complete carbon copy of the first tutorial. I've added some really cool upgrades which I'm about to show. First we have standard WASD controls which will make the tank feel like your average car. Next up. Wall climbing or spider tank, the name is self-explanatory, it lets you climb walls. Moving forward we have dual links, which is just more links to make your tracks last longer. And now we have a very important one, which is a customizable chassis, I have seen people who make my tracks but they directly add on the chassis instead of putting it on a piston. And now for my favorite upgrade, the growler. This upgrade lets you damage other tanks and builds with your tracks, so it's pretty damn cool. Anyways here is what you need for the tracks and the upgrades, so pause the video and check if you have the needed blocks. Alright let's begin.
Make sure you make this part collision off.
As usual I am going to explain to you how the keybinds will work on these tracks. So first WASD is for tracks. Q is to enable wall climbing and E is to make wall climbing easier. Z is to set up the tracks and X is to reverse the changes. So every time you load it in, you need to hold Z to set the tracks up. Anyways let's get back to the tutorial.
guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please like and subscribe. We are halfway there to 1000 subscribers. And as always thank you for watching.